You've probably heard of serial parallel and layer nodes, and maybe you've used them. Maybe you're just stringing serial nodes together because you saw it in a tutorial on YouTube. Let's dive into the different nodes, how they work, and give you an idea of when to use them. Let's start with serial nodes. This is the bread and butter. It's as simple as it sounds. One node feeds into the next, like a digital conga line. Each node applies a change to the image based on what it receives from the node before it. The order matters. If you desaturate before you try to qualify a specific color, you just made it hard for yourself. Okay, serial is great, but sometimes you wanna add multiple corrections simultaneously. That's where parallel nodes come in. Imagine you wanna boost the reds, greens, and blues all at the same time, but with separate controls. Parallel nodes let you do that. Resolve creates a parallel mixer. Now here's the important part. Parallel nodes mix the changes equally. If you have overlapping adjustments in parallel, it will mix all of the corrections together. This is great when you're going for a subdued naturalistic adjustment, or if you want the overall image to be graded evenly. So if you don't want everything mixed evenly, and you prefer to have some type of hierarchy, kind of like a pecking order, you guessed it, say hello to layer nodes. You could think of layered nodes like Photoshop layers for color grading. Each node's output overlaps the node below it. With this node setup, you also have access to compositing modes for the different layers. The node connected to the lowest input in the layer mixer gets priority. It's kind of like the king of the hill. Everything else just tries to get noticed. Okay, so when to use each type. Serial is going to be used for basic linear corrections, primarily where order matters, parallel for applying multiple adjustments simultaneously with equal mixing. It's great for secondaries that need to work together, or if you want a subtle overall look, and then layer mixers when you need to prioritize adjustments, or if you want to take advantage of the compositing modes for creative effect. A few little pro tips, you can easily switch between the layer mixer and the parallel mixer by right clicking and click on the morph into. By default, both of these mixers offer two inputs. You can add even more by right clicking on the mixer itself and add input. And I think that covers everything for serial parallel and layer mixer nodes in three minutes. Hit the like button if you'd like to see more short videos like this one.